Wisconsin is doing something really, really right. Hi, thanks for watching. Today is Thursday, November 5th, and I want to thank you. Thank you for watching my video and hitting that like button. Yesterday, I asked for 100 likes, and I'm a small creator, so that's a big ask, and I got 140. And it really means a lot to me that you help me out. You're helping my channel grow and get some more exposure. Out of 375 views when I'm recording this video, 140 likes, that's over 37%. That's, that's incredible. And I know eventually, if we keep doing that, it's going to make a difference and my channel is going to grow. Um, I did look at the analytics, and it turns out that uh, on yesterday's video, my video was suggested three times to people that weren't subscribers. So <laughs> that's not great, but I, I think we'll get there. It'll get better over time. So thank you for hitting that like button. Today, I want to talk about Wisconsin because they're doing something incredible there. And I think the rest of the country can learn from them, at least when it comes to same day registration of voting. Now, all this information I got from the Secretary of State's uh, website, you know, perhaps it's wrong, right? Perhaps the information that's published is wrong. That would be one explanation. But if not, they're doing something incredible there. And let me, let me get to the numbers. Now, according to the Secretary of State, 3,289,421 votes were cast for president. Now, this is major party candidates. It doesn't include write-ins like Mickey Mouse or Kanye West. So, you know, almost 3.3 million votes cast. And I looked at the number of registered voters on November 1st of this year, and there were 3.68 million uh, registered voters. So if they didn't have same-day registration, that would mean that their voter turnout was 89.27%, which is unheard of. That's never happened in the history of this country. Uh, last election, 2016, the highest state turnout was Maine, and they had 71.3% uh, turnout of registered voters actually went and voted or turned in a mail-in ballot. It turned it in and it was counted. So 71.3% is the high mark in this country. They were at 89%. So Obviously, they had to have had some same-day registrations. Now, let's just assume. We've got to make some assumptions because we don't know everything. But let's just assume that Wisconsin had 75% uh, turnout from registered voters. That would be higher than it's ever been. But let's just say it was 75%. Remember, 71.3% was the high last time in Maine. But let's say it was 75%. And that would mean that 2,763,545 uh, votes were cast by people that were registered to vote prior to November 1st. And that leaves same-day registration. Now, November 2nd is not included in this data. So November 2nd and November 3rd, I'm just calling same-day registration. Okay. But we do a little math, you know, back of the envelope math, and that leaves us with 525,876 same-day registration for the, for the state of Wisconsin, which is, wow, that is incredible that they, that they were able to register that many people same day. I mean, that's, that's really incredible. They're doing a fantastic job, and I want to give a hand to... Uh, the state of Wisconsin for doing this unbelievable feat. And, uh, you know, spoiler alert, here on the Chiron, Wisconsin, they had more same-day registrations than the entire year of 2020. So, <laughs> uh, so now we should say that there should be 3,815,297 people are now registered in the state of uh, 
Wisconsin. And if we do some math, then that tells us that the overall turnout, including mail-in voting, was 86.2%. Wow. Wow. That's unbelievable that including mail-in voting, their turnout was 86.2%. That's incredible. Now, remember, 2016, the highest state was Maine with 71.3%. Wisconsin killed it. I got to hand it to Wisconsin because they're doing incredible things of getting people to register to vote on the day of the election. But when we look at who was registered in January of 2020, uh, and then the number of people that were registered on November 1st of 2020, we see that the entire year of 2020 up until Monday <laughs> was 377. The, the new registrations... All of 2020 up until Monday was 377,820. And the number of new registrations on Election Day far exceeded that with 525,876. I mean, so either they're doing a fantastic job of getting people to register on Election Day, but not before Election Day. I don't know how that marketing campaign goes because you would think that they would want to register people prior to Election Day. But somehow, the state of Wisconsin was able to register more people on Election Day than the entire rest of the year. I mean, we got to figure out what they're doing there, because this is great for democracy to get that many people registered. I mean, it's unheard of. And I think we need to look into this and figure this out. Uh, because if Wisconsin can do this, the rest of the country should follow suit and we should have more people involved in our democracy, just like in Wisconsin. Now, again, this was just some back of the envelope math. There's a chance that I'm wrong. I'm not, but there's a chance that I am. Now, there could be some alternative explanations as to what's going on here, but but I can't think of any. And if you can think of some alternative explanations, please let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. And if you like this video, if <laughs> be sure to share it with someone else. That would be awesome. Have a super day. Peace.